This is iOS 16, and as you can see, widgets. And no, this is not a live wallpaper. It's the new iOS 16 lock screen that I wanna show you everything. So let's go through in detail what you can find on the lock screen, what changed, how you can set it up, what it is. Let's begin. So here we are. This is the new lock screen. And as you can see, we have widgets enabled over here. And I even have an activities widget over here that opens immediately in my activities app, if it recognizes me. Great. But now, what else can we do over here? How does it look like? First of all, if I open the phone, you see, uh, let me go over here, you see that the, the globe slides. You see the really cool animation, and it's very, very special smooth, especially with the 120 hertz display. But if I wanna change up things over here, I can do it two ways. I can change this itself with the customize button over here, or I can click on this plus sign over here and I can create another, um, basically, uh, lock screen. So I'm gonna go here and we have people, photos, photo shuffle, uh, emoji, weather, astronomy, and color. Here you have the featured lock screens. This is kind of like an Apple Watch lock screen, if you can see good. Um, weather, astronomy, you got like uh, the planets, you have the moon over here, different versions of uh, the planet over here. It's a very simple weather one. You have emoji and different kind of setups for the emoji. You have collections, the unity, the pride, the the rainbow and you have the live wallpaper with the bokeh effects and you have simple color ones as well. Now you can change all of these. So let's go through them one by one. First we have the astronomy. This is earth detail. If you open this, you can actually slide over here to go through the different versions. You have the moon, you have the moon in detail, and then you have the solar system. I'm gonna go through the collections. Uh, in the collections, it's just this one, but you see that the clock actually is behind an element over here. You got the col color where you can change deep and vapor and bright and solid. And then you have emoji, which compiles emojis in different kind of, um, like this is spiral, this is ring, this is a large grid, medium grid and small grid. And then you have the weather, which is pretty cool. Now it's a very nice weather over here. Um, you got a little bit of clouds up here, but nothing special is going to happen. So it's a pretty quiet evening. And you have the Unity wallpaper, which is pretty cool as well. You got three colors and you got four colors over here. Now, if I go back here and I choose, for example, people, I can choose between all of my um, photos or I can just ask my phone to search for portrait photos and it's gonna select those. So now I choose this one, for example, and it perfectly cuts out the person. It puts it in front of the clock and it's just really, really cool. And I can change the vibe by sliding over here. So as you see, this is natural, this is studio, this is black and white, and this is color backdrop. Now, if I wanna go further, I can go over here and I can disable the depth effect. I can disable the pers perspective zoom. I can customize the colors. So if I want different kind of colors to be over here, I can choose any kind of color I want. So let's go with a nice greenish background. As you can see, it's a bit sluggish, but now the whole thing is green, it's very dark. All right, now if I want to add widgets to this picture, as you can see, I add a widget, immediately it brings it in front, which is not really nice in this case with this picture because all the widgets are gonna be in front of the person. So I'm gonna cancel and we'll continue later. Um, let me show you something else. So let's see, oh, this is me, for example. And uh, once you choose a picture, again, it gives you a black and white option. Uh, depending on the picture, it gives you multiple kind of options. Over here, you can just go back and you can search for more pictures if you want um, with more people. Uh, I'm 
gonna choose a picture right now for example for example this one this is one of my favorite pictures now again this has a studio this is black and white color backdrop and everything if I want to change for example the time I have an option to change the time as you can see this is very um, minimalistic this is a rounded this is more of a digital clock this is more <laughs> times new Roman and then you can change the color of the clock as well so this is gonna be like a blue one and I'm gonna go with the studio effect and I can actually add multiple widgets up here so I can go add the sunrise I can add events or calories or calendar or clock or fitness it's a bit buggy it's a bit slow but it's gonna get there now if I want I can change the color in ooh, Arabic Wow this I didn't even know that I can change the numbering as well if I want to and as I see it the date over here the small one is a complementary color so it's gonna be always like a dual color perfect and then if I'm okay with this I just click on done and my new lock screen is done but let's go through let's see what else we can do as you can see we can do a photo shuffle so I can choose a number of photos I just randomly chose a couple of photos and I can just tap to shuffle and that's it and then you can add your widgets and you can do whatever you want it's gonna be always a tap to shuffle in these cases I'm gonna go and cancel this then you have the emoji option which I absolutely want to do a poop emoji perfect now with the poop emoji done I can change the background color which I want a nice blue background color and I want a spiral poop emoji lock screen what else would you want and now I guess it's time to add my widgets so I'm gonna add a couple of widgets over here as you can see the max number of widgets is four if you take off the two widgets over here or in the front or wherever you can do two small ones and one big one that is all we have these are the battery widgets this is the calendar widgets as you can see the clock widgets but I don't know why you, um, okay clock widgets fitness widgets home widgets reminder widgets stock widgets and weather widgets you got a couple this is done this is the new lock screen for me and as you can see if I go into the phone it changed my wallpaper too so the whole thing is coherent over here and everything works with everything now what else can we do in terms of lock screen I go over here to customize um, with emojis you can do actually multiple emojis four emojis yeah five emojis is the maximum you can put together all right I think that's more than enough now this is one of my favorites the weather and uh, it's nothing special basically it checks your location and it's gonna show you all the weather so if it's snowing it's gonna be snowing here if uh, whatever's happening outside it's gonna be perfectly reflected on your phone not just on your lock screen but when you go in here behind your applications too if it's raining it's gonna be raining there it's pretty awesome I've been waiting for something like this since the good old jailbroken times also if I go into any of these and I say focus I can attach it to a specific focus mode so let's say I want the weather to be on my sleeping focus and that's it so now as you can see if I go into do not disturb 
do not disturb should be set up in for example this perfect now I just switch from do not disturb to sleep and my wallpaper changed and my lock screen changed and everything changed sleep mode is with this all right but now I go back into do not disturb and poop emoji galore so you can set up your own profiles basically Apple has created profiles on the iPhone without telling us that they created profiles and I think they did it very elegantly and I really like it if I want to go and do another one you can see that we have the moon over here or the astronomy which is the actual um, place where the planets are at this current moment right now so if you're into that kind of thing also there is just a simple color where you can choose any kind of color for uh, let's go for purple and then you can choose like a, a, a deep or tone or vapor or bright and you can set it up any way you want I mean in the normal color options is where you can see your widgets the best I think so if you just keep this as your normal wallpaper then that is it now in the lock screen I don't know if you saw I basically muted a notification as you can see notification center comes up from below not from the top anymore so you can just pull up over here and you see all of your notifications down here it's not up in the top anymore and it's perfect because if you're using your phone with one hand it's easier just to pull up from here than to reach all the way up to the top of the phone this is everything that we have on the lock screen I think it's a pretty great upgrade especially if we want to use the different kind of profiles that we have you have poop and emoji galore you have weather you have different kind of portrait photos available and I just really like this upgrade I think it's fantastic it's something really really cool I hope you guys love it too if you want to know how to download it stay tuned to this channel because I will be doing a tutorial on how you can download it um, without a developer account let me know if you have any questions regarding hit me down in the comment sections below and until my next video stay safe and hang loose